So let's keep it clean and keep it real about these Ravens. First question came from my boy Julius B. He said, first, I'd like to say thank you for the excellent content. It's not easy being consistent and timely uh, with Ravens news, but you're on it. Hey, I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, he said, and also a bigger thanks for giving us an outlet where we as Ravens fans can be heard. Oh, well, that um, that was something that was always very, very important uh, to me um, with the channel. Just allowing people to voice their opinions, their reasoning, their thoughts, whatever it may be about the Ravens uh, without having to get all the nasty backlash, all the, the rude backlash, all the just demeaning backlash. Because it's, it's OK if people don't agree on stuff. It's OK if people don't agree on the way that you think about something or the way that you see stuff. That's cool. But it, it ain't no reason to be all nasty to people just because you don't agree with what they say. I just that was just never that didn't make sense to me. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I appreciate you acknowledging that. So thank you, man. He said, now on to the good stuff. Uh, he said, you know, I love Lamar, right? And he, then he said, no, I'm, I'm not about to say nothing bad. LOL. Hey, you see, he knows. He knows what people be saying. That. It's like, I, I, I really love Lamar. You know, I'm a Lamar fan. Right? But yeah, you know how it goes. But anyway, appreciate that. He said, no, but I do really appreciate what he's done for the organization. One thing. Can we stop? Comparing him to Joe Flacco and betting on himself, please. Uh, first thing, look at the pieces around Joe Flacco and not just the defense. To be honest, the Ravens were stacked on both sides of the ball. Pro bowlers on both sides. So for Joe to bet on himself, he, he put it in a quotation, so that's why I did the quotation. So for Joe to bet on himself was a better situation than Lamar Jackson. Anquan Bolden, Lee Evans, <laughs> Dennis Pitta, Ray Rice, Ed Dixon, Tannen Doss, I don't know if you can really include that one. Uh, Vontae Leach, Torrey Smith, Jacoby Jones, Marshall Yonder, Michael Orr, Brian McKinney, Matt Burke, plus a top five, top, top ten defense that season. Well, that season, they were uh, 16, 17. They were in the middle of the pack, but they were defense that made a lot of plays. They made a whole lot of plays. Did you put Lodi Nada on there? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't you, you missed. See, it's crazy. You, you named a lot of names. But you even missed some, too, because it still had Lodi Nada. Uh, they still had Terrell Suggs. Um, they had Art Jones, who was doing his thing. Then he ended up going to the Colts. Um, they had uh, Danelle Ellaby, who had to fill in for Ray Lewis. They had Josh Bynes back then, who had to fill in for Ray Lewis. Josh Bynes. Josh Bynes done been around, man. Uh, they had uh, Kerry Williams. Um, Jimmy Smith was a rookie. He was injured back then, but... So he missed a lot of time. Did did you did you put Ed Reed? Hold up, man. You ain't, and you ain't even put Ed Reed. Oh, no, no, no. My fault. My fault. You were talking offense, though. See, look, look at me. I'm, I'm over here going off on defense and all that, but you were talking offense. All right. Let, let, let's continue. That's my fault. But anyway, he said, <laughs> he said, listen, with all that, I would have bet on myself, too. Uh, it goes to show that the Ravens haven't loaded Lamar up like that. Mm. I mean, hey, I <laughs> boom. <laughs> he said it's almost as if Steve doesn't want to lose another quarterback betting on himself. Notice he didn't tell Lamar if you want a Super Bowl, you get the contract. Lamar and everyone else assumes that that that's what it will take just because of Flacco. But Steve only gave that deal to Flacco. I haven't heard him say that to Lamar. He's just trying to get the cheapest price he can get. Like, let's just keep it real. Steve doesn't want to pay Lamar a fully guaranteed contract, not one bit. Oh, no, of, of course he would. Uh, that's not what they do. He said, think about it. Joe Flacco took us to the playoffs every season with two AFC championship appearances, and he still had to win a Super Bowl, get the MVP and the Corvette before he got the bag. Now, with that, and he said Lamar only has an MVP and one playoff win, so really, what do you expect from Steve? I get what you're saying with that, but they were offering Flacco a contract before. But the Ravens, I think they also offered Lamar Jackson a contract before. But anyway, they offered Flacco a contract before, uh, that before that season. They were trying to get the deal done, but there were some hiccups with it. And Joe Linta and Nick Flacco and them were like, ah, no. And I think it was something with either incentives or bonuses. Or, it was something like, something that... I can't say small because this is like in a whole nother tax bracket. So I can't say it was something small, but there were some little holdups here and there to where they just they they didn't get they they couldn't agree to a deal. So yeah, Bashadi, hey, okay, go win a Super Bowl then and come back to my office. 
and, and you demand what you want. <laughs> what happened? Well, you saw it. But anyway, uh, he said, uh, you know, Ozzy was the balance to all that. He knew you had to spend the money. You can tell by the caliber of players we have now and what we had with Ozzy. By the way, Lamar draft season was Ozzy's last. Oof. Wow, you said a lot uh, with this one. Now, with that part, I give a little pushback to that last part. Were you talking about uh, with Ozzy? He knew you had to spend the money. But Ravens, as far as offense, Ravens have always been, uh, especially at like the wide receiver position and whatnot, really like loading up the offense like that, like that. That ain't never really been Ravens' thing like that. That's never really been their thing. Um, so that's with Ozzy. It's continued with Eric DaCosta. So that's just... That's how the Ravens have been uh, throughout their recent history. I mean, well, throughout their history. Because, again, the team was built on running that football, playing good defense. Now, I, I do see what you were saying, though, as far as comparing, like, Joe Flacco in, in the, the bet on himself year versus Lamar in the bet on himself year. I do see what, you, you, what you're saying with that. And, um, I mean, yeah, I wish they would have loaded him up a little bit more. But now, since... Um, since he wasn't loaded up like that, like that, uh, cause Joe Flacco, again, yeah, you meant Anquan Bolden. He had like that guy established wide receiver in the league, um, and wide receiver. And uh, hopefully, uh, they don't have similar playing styles. I, I don't want to say hopefully Rashad Bateman is Anquan Bolden, but hopefully Rashad Bateman can be Lamar's Anquan Bolden. And what I mean when I say that, that go to guy that bring down the tough catches guy, that go across the middle guy, that make big plays for you guy. Uh, and with what we've seen from Rashad Bateman, um, so far it's been so good. Uh, we just hope it, it continues. Now we hope to see. We saw a sample size. Now we just hope to see the whole thing uh, because he is a yak monster, and that's something that is so big, getting that yak. Um, so we're looking forward to seeing Rashad Bateman doing that now. And then with Torrey Smith that Joe Flacco had, that deep ball guy. Hopefully, uh, Demarcus Robinson, he can be that. Um, to where Demarcus Robinson, he'll go get it, man. And that's one thing. He will, he will go up and get it. That's one thing I appreciate about his game from when I did watch him uh, when the Ravens first signed him. And then, obviously, seeing him burn the Ravens plenty of times, too. Hopefully, he'll just do that to other people now. Um, but, yeah, having that, that wide receiver to compliment the other wide receiver. And then, Joe Flacco had uh, Ed Dixon and Dennis Pitta. Um, but now... We, the Ravens currently have, Lamar Jackson has uh, two tight ends that could be better. Well, Mark Andrews right now, he, well, Mark Andrews is better already, but the Isaiah likely has so much potential. He has a, a lot of potential to really just be that guy. Now, you brought up Vontae Leach. Vontae Leach is excellent fullback. They got Pat Ricard, and Pat Ricard is nice, too. He, he's, he's a good fullback. Um, Ray Rice, uh, they have their own Ray Rice and uh, J.K. Dobbins, but he's hurt, so um, it'll be it'll be a little process as far as him uh, coming back and him really uh, getting more and more carries as the season progresses. Um, but Ray, Ravens got a chance; they they got a chance um, to do some things with what they got. But now, since since they don't have like all the names like that, they don't have all the the, the big names. It's like okay, cool. Let's see how you work with what you got how you use it, and how you really maximize it to the fullest. Yeah, this feels like a dream. Ain't no chance what I mean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, how to made it. Boy, he's a fan, and he like the Ravens. Like the Ravens. Ain't no chance what I mean. You two team, keep it clean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, how to made it. Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and great. Team, keep it clean. Welcome to another episode of questions from y'all. Um, and that's where you can ask any single question you want to about the Baltimore Ravens or really just the NFL in general. And we answer it in a video just like this. Um, now, uh, shout out to the newest uh, Team Keep It Clean channel member, uh, Montrico G. I like that name. That name kind of sound like it, it sounds like a drink that you would get at like a, a Bahama Breeze or like from a little tiki place or something like that. And, and, and it sounds like a really good drink, too. But anyway. Uh, shout out to Montrico. Um, and also, shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Now, if you would like to be, become a Team Keep It Clean patron, you can go to patreon.com slash engravenvids. Uh, or if you want to become a Team Keep It Clean channel member, all of that stuff is down below in the description. Now, don't feel obligated because you don't have to. It's, it's only if you would like to. 
Um, and now uh, we have a uh, a, a quick, well, not even a question. I guess a comment from uh, one of our team keep it clean patrons, KF Pro. He said, "My boy said, give him a blank check, and he will offer to fill up Steve Vashadi's lawnmower with forty plus dollars. The deal is done. Week one." All right, so we talking money, baby. I like it. Uh, but let's get to the uh, to the next question that came from Jamil. He said, uh, "What's going on, fam? Swank? Oh, that's oh you swank? Okay, I ain't know you was swank. Okay, got shout out to my guy, man. Hope uh, your daughter's doing good. What she probably about? What maybe like two now? I think it's been two years, right? Since 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 you had a kid, I think so. But anyway, he said, "Quick question for you: If the Ravens and Lamar don't." Come to a contract agreement Do you think Lamar will make more business decisions on the field with his bo- Oh, that's a really good question Wow, oh I ain't even finished it yet He said, do you think Lamar will make more business decisions on the field with his body I think he will play the same though personally Keep up the good work, much appreciated No, I appreciate you man um, No, Lamar already makes a lot of business decisions on the field with his body um, Lamar doesn't, he ain't out there like just being. Not that he's playing uptight But he ain't out there just being reckless or anything like that uh, he already makes a lot of good business decisions with his body. Um, I was just talking to uh, one of my guys uh, about an hour ago, and I was telling him, um, like, if you look, if you're looking at the, because he had brought up how, like, man, like with Lamar, um, the, the way that he plays uh, is, it's like, uh, is he could be more susceptible, sus- susceptible. I feel like that's not even the word right now. He could be more prone to injury based off of the way he plays. Uh, I'll look up the word later. I'm not editing that out either. But anyway, um, he could be more prone to injury the way he plays. And I was like, uh, no. And he talked about, too, how Lamar could just be one big hit away uh, from his career being changed. But I said, that, that's literally anybody who steps on the football field. That's any single NFL player. And with Lamar Jackson, if you look at the stat sheet and you look at how many times he initiates, or I mean, not initiates, but comes into contact with a defensive player, you can look at, his, look at it on the stat sheet and be like, oh, wow, man, that's a lot. Wow, he's a quarterback. He's getting hit a lot. But then if you actually watch the games, you're like, oh, no, he, he's really not getting hit like that. Um, so with Lamar Jackson, I don't think that he'll change his play style just because he doesn't have a deal yet, simply because he knows that a deal is on the way, whether it's from the Ravens or what, whether it's from whatever, but he knows that he is going to get paid uh, regardless. And the last question on this episode came from my boy King of Pugo. He said, Engraving my guy, I haven't seen a question in over a year. Yeah, it's been a long time, man. I see you done changed your name on YouTube and all that too, but shout out to you, man. Anyway, he said, Hope you and the family are in good health. Just wanted to tell you what I expect from us and what will happen with Lamar Jackson. Firstly, I expect us to make the playoffs at either 13 and 4 or 12 and 5 and win comeback team of the year. Oh, yeah, because they like literally they got the whole team coming, everybody. The whole team come, but real quick, special um shout out, shout out to Mark Andrews, shout out to Patrick Queen, because they were there the whole year. They did not miss not one game, so shout out to the both of them. Uh, but anyway, he said we'll get over the playoff hump and make it to the Super Bowl. Lamar will have a bounce back season and we'll be in the running for MVP. Now whether we win the Super Bowl or not, Lamar will have earned every single penny he'll ask for in the offseason and he'll get it and the price is only going up will it be from the ravens well we'll have to let the chips fall where they may shout out to team keep it clean i watch every single one of your videos even when i don't want to <laughs> he said even <laughs> even when <laughs> i appreciate this honesty man <laughs> He said I watch every single one of your videos Even when I don't want to Just because I respect you so much Keep doing what you're doing and never change See you, <laughs> See you in, in the live streams See ya <laughs> Shout out to you man I, I, I appreciate you and I appreciate that honesty um, But yeah hey we, Like you said we let the chips fall where they may Whew I would love if everything that you talked about, if that comes to fruition, uh, but I, I would just love it even more if the Ravens end up winning uh, that Super Bowl. But yeah, man, if if they don't come to a contract agreement, I guess over the next day or so, whatever, and Lamar plays it out, then yeah, man, um, he will most likely continue to show why he should be extremely valued uh, by the Baltimore Ravens. Um, but I make just the Super Bowl. 
that would be the cherry on top, especially if he got a Super Bowl MVP as well. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, how to made it. Boy, he's a fan and he like the Ravens, like the Ravens. And you know just what I mean. You two team, keep it clean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, how to made it. Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and graven, right and graven. Shout out to Graven.